Hi guys, I hope you have been enjoying our channel. Before we go into today's video, do subscribe to it. Well guys, in our recent exam series, I come to you with yet another speaking cue card. Now let us read the cue card first. Describe a time when you were very busy. You should say when it happened, uh, where you were and what did you do. Explain why you were busy. Okay. Now, when you're given a cue card like this, uh, the first instinct that students have is they think, okay, when was the last time I was busy? Or they try to make up a situation where they were busy. Now, first thing, always relax. The only way you're going to be able to speak for two minutes about a topic like this is if you plan your thoughts properly. Now, the ideal way to do this is using a mind map. Select your core idea. What is the core topic here? It is time you were busy. Right? Now, think of one or two times when you were busy. It need not be something uh, very outstanding. It just needs to be something which many people can relate to. That way you'll be able to build upon it. An example could be I was busy at my wedding or at my brother's wedding because usually occasions are a time when you are too busy to you know keep up with everything. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can talk about work, a time when you were busy at work because this is also one area where people generally tend to spend a lot of time and you will also get a lot of points to build upon your thoughts. So I'm going to go with brother's wedding okay now what are the points they have given us they have asked us when did it happen where was I say I was in Chennai what did you do? And why where you busy so we can say that here you'll have to give a list of points we can talk about too many things on my plate notice that the first two questions that are asked are quite straightforward. Now, when you have straightforward questions such as this, the first thing you'll have to realize is this is not going to take a lot of time, right? So if I'm just going to concentrate on question three and four, you'll notice that I'm able to complete my speech within a minute. Now, the idea here is to speak as long as possible. So what are the other things I can put in here? Because I'm talking about my brother's wedding, I could also give type of wedding and the rituals that happen here. This way I'll be able to buff up my speech. Now, let me give you an example of how you could string this information together. First thing you're going to do is you're going to start by saying that uh, in our day-to-day -day life, we are often busy with a lot of important tasks. But one particular day where I was extremely busy that I can remember is my brother's wedding. The wedding happened in July or this the wedding happened last July and was conducted in Chennai. And I remember the day very clearly as I was very busy from the get-go. 
Now, what am I doing here? I'm using certain phrases that show the significance of time. From the get go, basically means that from the very beginning, from the start of the day. Um, now you're going on to talking about what you were doing. So you can say, I was put in charge of choreographing the event. And as a South Indian, especially someone who hails from Tamil Nadu, there are a lot of rituals which are involved in the wedding. The first ritual is that where the groom is supposed to have a sort of a short meal with a sibling of his. And as someone who comes from a media background, I was put in charge of the photography. So constantly choreographing the pictures that need to be uh, taken, the moments that need to be clicked in order to get the event to flow as near perfect as possible was quite tedious. Now, the word that I use here is tedious, which means time consuming and takes a lot of energy. Next. You're basically explaining why you're busy. Now, you'll notice that these two points sort of merge into each other. So you'll have to give a lot more detail. So you, you can say there were too many things on my plate. Now, what does too many things on my plate mean? Basically means that you had a lot of responsibilities and you had a lot of tasks that you had to check off your checklist. By saying too many things of, on your plate, you can also putting out the image that you did not have any breathing space. Now breathing space means a gap in your schedule where you can basically take a break. These phrases basically help the examiner perceive what you're saying in a much more finer light. They get to understand that you are someone who is comfortable enough in English to put across a variety of idiomatic phrases and expressions in order to express yourself. Apart from that, coining together your thoughts and weaving together in the format of a story helps a person, especially a listener, to understand the events clearly. So you get points in fluency and coherence as well. Well, guys, what did you think about my video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and comment on this particular video.